How's it going everyone? Today I want to show off how to set up and play Warcraft Adventures Lord of the Clans with the best performance on modern hardware on Windows 10. If you're unfamiliar with Warcraft Adventures Lord of the Clans, it's a point and click adventure game that Blizzard worked on between 1996 to 1998, but ended up cancelling it after roughly 18 months of development even though it was practically finished. The game ended up being leaked back in 2016, so it allowed the world to finally experience it after all these years. Now I'm a big point and click kind of game fan. I loved playing games like Myst and Seventh Guest back in the day. I also enjoy the more modern ones from say Fire Maple and so on. Now I went into playing Warcraft Adventures Lord of the Clans with very low expectations, especially for it being a cancelled game. I was actually quite surprised at how fun it actually was, but my first attempt with it, before I knew it, it was 1am in the morning and I had to call it quits. Anyhow, let's start diving in. A fan project named Warcraft Adventures Cutscenes Remaster Project, or WACRP, has put amazing work into correcting many issues, as I'll read off on their About page. Warcraft Adventures Lord of the Clans had been leaked in 2016. Much to my surprise, it was completely playable from start to finish and it even included almost all its cutscenes. Still, the game suffered from missing sound effects and out of sync voices in almost all these videos. Additionally, these had been encoded with a low bitrate and suffered from a lot of compression artifacts. A few weeks later, two missing cutscenes were found on a DVD, but being filmed from a TV screen. These had even bigger issues. The Warcraft Adventures Cutscene Remaster Project, WACRP, aims at changing all that. This package contains all 20 cutscenes, including those two cutscenes not included in the original leak. To fix the mentioned issues, a lot of work went into these files. Fitting sound effects and music have been added. 200 plus sound effects, music from Warcraft 1 to 3 and Warcraft Adventures itself. The audio has been synced with noise filtering, reverb, etc. Applied when necessary. A lot of compression artifacts have been removed by hand. This tedious work has been done for all cutscenes. The previous missing cutscenes, only available as a TV recording, have been carefully remastered by using deflickering filters, waifu upscaling, Photoshop editing, and repainting big parts of almost every frame by hand. In addition, they have been carefully adjusted to 12 frame rates per second as originally intended. Missing voice has been restored in the alternative AMI intro by using the original script and the TTS software. Continuity errors, disappearing orcs or items that should no longer exist have been fixed. So it's for sure a pretty impressive amount of work that they have put into this to bring it to a more stable and playable state. As I mentioned before, we'll be showing this on a fully patched up Windows 10 machine, but the same steps will work on Windows 11 as well with the same performance. All the websites I show, I will have links in the description for to make things nice and easy for you to follow along with. We will need a few dependency applications along the way, which I will show how to download them. Naturally, you will need a copy of Warcraft Adventures, Lord of the Clans. We're going to need the 7-zip utility, the C++ redistributable libraries, in my case we will just download them all as one package to cover all the bases. The WACRP overhaul pack, the updated smack w32.dll file, and then the dxgl wrapper to make things a little more stable and prevent any black screens. So with that out of the way, let's begin with 7-zip. So 7-zip, if you're unfamiliar with it, is a very nice, very small application which we can use for unzipping all sorts of archive files. So we'll select the latest and greatest version up at the top here, click on download, and then I'll click on open file, hit yes for the UAC prompt, and we'll click install, and it shouldn't take very long at all, we'll click close. Next up is going to be the, the Visual C++ redistributable runtimes, and we're going to use the all-in-one package here, which just makes everything nice and easy. So we'll click on download, and then select a mirror, and then I'm going to show in folder here, and then I'm going to right click on it, and we're going to extract all, and we'll extract it all right in the downloads folder, that's perfectly fine. And then the key thing here is when you run the batch file, which is going to automatically install all the stuff here, the key thing is to right click on it and run it as administrator, otherwise you will have to click yes and okay for every single prompt that comes up. Running it as an administrator will just automatically 
accept all of those terms and what have you, and UAC prompts. So we'll click on Run as Administrator. You run it once. We click Yes with UAC prompt, and then just hands off while this works. It's magic here. It shouldn't take very long. All right, now that is complete. We can close out of our downloads and whatnot there. Next up is going to be getting your hands on the Warcraft Adventures Lord of the Clans game files here. They are located on the archive.org website. If you prefer to torrent it, you can use this link here. However, we're just going to download the zipped file. So if you just click on the zip here, then it will download. It is 698.4 megabytes. So depending on your internet connection, it could take a little bit of time. So with it downloaded, I will click on show in folder, and then we're going to right click on it. We'll click on extract all, and let's browse to the desktop and let's make a new folder and we can call it Warcraft Adventures. Select that folder and extract and just be patient as it extracts it here and I'll close out of the downloads. And so here is the extracted files that we pop this open. Then here is everything we need as the base game. Next up back at the home page of the WACRP site here is the latest and greatest patch that they have. So click on the little banner down here, which is the latest version. In this case, it is version 1.1. We'll click on this. It's going to bring us to a mega site and then click on download and then just be patient as it downloads here. It is 464.6 megs, so once again, it could take some time depending on your internet connection. And let's pop it back open in the download section. So this is where 7-zip is going to shine for us as this is a .7z compressed file. So let's right click on this, select 7-zip, extract files, and then let's point it to the Warcraft Adventures folder just to keep everything in one general area. Click on OK and OK again. And then let's go back to the Warcraft Adventures folder and let's pop open the patch here. And the first thing we're going to do is copy all of the .smk files. These are the cinematic files. Copy all of these. And then we'll go back, LOTC, W4, cutscenes, and paste them right in here. And we are going to select replace the files in the destination as we are going to replace them with the modified versions. All right, let's go back to the LOTC folder. And then next up, let's go back to the main WACRP page. Let's click on FAQ. I'm just gonna scroll down just a little bit. And first we want to click on this section where it mentions my game won't work with the new cutscenes. What's wrong? There is a download file right here. I'm going to right click on it open link in new tab, and then we will click on download. This is the smackw32.dll, which we are going to replace. If you get this little section here, it says it was blocked because the type of file can harm your machine. Don't worry about this. It's just because it's a DLL, it's perfectly safe. We'll click the little dots there and click on keep. And then let's click in the show and folder and then copy the smackw32.dll and paste it right in here. One thing you'll notice is look at the size of the old version is 94 kilobytes. We'll paste it in, replace the file in the destination. Now it's 156 kilobytes. So there's a fair amount of changes in that. And then let's go back to the FAQ site one more time. And then in the section that says my screen remains black, let's click on the DXGL site. And I'll just right click on this again, open link in new tab. All right, let's go up to the downloads link up here. Click on downloads. All right, I'm just gonna scroll down a little bit here and then let's click on the Windows installer here. Click on this and then we will open the file. Click yes for the UAC prompt. Click on next, next, next one more time. Leave the destination folder as is. Click on next, leave these as is. Click install, uncheck the show readme and click finish. I'll move this to the middle of the screen here. In the bottom left, click on add. Let's go to desktop, Warcraft Adventures folder, LOTC. Select the playwin.exe, click open. And then for the video mode section here, drop this down to stretch to screen and then go to vertical sync. 
and select disabled. And then for the full screen window mode, drop this down, select exclusive full screen. And then this next option is optional for the screen aspect ratio. If things are a little weird, or if you're trying to record your playthrough, you may want to select the 4-3 ratio, as OBS and other screen recording apps sometimes do not like when things are left as the default. So for the sake of this video, I will check the 4-3 aspect ratio. And then when everything is set to how it should be, as I'm showing in the video here, then we can click on apply and OK, and we can close out of the web browser and then get back to the Warcraft Adventures LOTC folder if you accidentally closed out of it. And then let's fire this up and see how it works. So double click on the playwin.exe and then we should be greeted with the main game menu here. The yeah, load adventures if you had a saved game, all these options. That you see here the heads and then the shield and the weapons and helmet all just play the intro if if you want to watch the intro you've got your sound options down here on the right and the exit is the barrels here the new adventure section is the door which would be starting a new game so let's try a new game here and then the starting cinematic should start playing here i'm just going to skip it so far so good and I will go ahead and show just the basics of this game because some of it's a little confusing at first, so I figure might as well show off what the stuff actually does once we can start selecting things here. So you've got your cursor here, and if there's something that can actually be selected or examined, then it'll turn red. Otherwise, it's green if you wanted to click around to walk somewhere. The big thing that took me just a little bit to learn was understanding selecting things. So for instance, if I click on old sock, it doesn't actually do anything besides walking over to it. What you have to do is you have to hold the left click button down and then you get this three option menu that pops up. So you've got this eyeball here. The eyeball means that you would kind of inspect it. The mouth would mean that you're eating it or something of that sort. And then the hand going down is picking something up and then depending on what you choose for instance if I select examine it then they'll say something about it. it may give you a hint or something of what you should do with it or what you shouldn't do and then like the mouth one and they basically say they don't want to eat it and then if you want to pick it up then you choose this hand on the rope and then you'll pick it up and then as you saw in the top left here it flashed and you can click on this and this is kind of your inventory menu. And with these, you can also do the same where you can look at them, try to consume them or pick them up, which pick up doesn't really do anything. You can also grab it and try to use it. For instance, you might try to use it on the hanging corpse. And then the, the other thing is if you click on the book, then it comes up with the game menu. So you can load from a save, you can save your game, your sound options, return to the game if you're all done and want to keep playing, or you can also exit the game here. I'll just return to the game. But for instance, as a test, like I can go up to the door here, I'll select the use the hands thing here, or pick up option. And there is sound to this, but I'm not recording the actual sound of the game in my narrations here. So there is sound and music and all that good stuff. Sometimes there's points where the cinematics don't necessarily have sound, like the little, the little rat hole in the cell. I think it was supposed to make a screeching noise when you click on it. It doesn't actually do anything besides show you that it's trying to attack you. Some voices are AI driven, but that's basically the basics. You know, feel free to explore the game, see where you can get. When I first dove into it, it took me a little bit of time to understand what I needed to actually do in certain areas. So it was definitely very fun to figure that all out and explore the game. Anyhow, that's all you need to do to get Warcraft Adventures Lord of the Clans running on modern hardware. If you found this video to be useful, please like it and subscribe to my channel to keep up with the latest video releases. I also invite you to check out my other videos if you are new to my channel. Lots of interesting project guides I go over and many more to come. Anyhow, until next time, take it easy.